Hi, my name is Dan Meyer. I taught high school math for six years to students who did not like math, and now I'm on a doctoral fellowship at Stanford studying curriculum design and teacher education. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a camera out, a video camera or a, a photo camera, and I'm taking a, a picture of that real world scenario in such a way that the question that's buried at the bottom in the last step of the textbook problem is the first thing on that student's mind. Uh, I want to make that question irresistible to a student so they have to know the answer. And then I take that interest and I, I layer math on top of it. Our goal in my classes is, is to let math serve conversation, to let math serve prediction and betting and arguing, not the other way around. We don't do all of that to serve the math. So here's an example is I took a, a flip camera out, a little cheap camera, put on a tripod and I shot a basketball shot uh, in front of it. And then I took that, that video file and I just carved it up and I made this, this half video where the ball kind of strobes in the air and then hovers or halfway between me and the hoop. And that's a good moment because I don't have to ask the question there. You know what the question is. The students, the students are feeling the question, is that ball going to go in the hoop? And from there, I can take bets and uh, predictions. We all put a guess on the record. I show a few more shots, some that obviously are going to miss, some that may make it. And from there, you want to know the answer. Am I right or wrong? And so I throw you into a, a simulator where you are modeling the parabola on top of that. And you can see, like, OK, it's going to continue and miss or go in. And the best part about using multimedia in these instances, one of the great parts, is that I, I don't have to turn to the back of the teacher's edition and tell you, well, the textbook says you're right. Or as the teacher, I say, you're right. We just watch the end of the video. And from that, I can be a, a co-learner with my students. Like, we're working on it here, and they're asking me, am I right? And I'm saying, beats me. Let's find out. That's a good moment. Uh, another example is, is the classic boat in the river problem, which uh, students on paper have a hard time wrapping their heads around it where you have a kayaker going upstream and downstream. So I'm thinking, where can I find an upstream and a downstream in my day-to-day -day life and take the camera out there and film it? And uh, it occurs an escalator. I can walk up the, up the down escalator and that's going against the current. So I, I take my camera, I shoot it, and then I set the end of the video up in such a way that the question on everybody's mind is, how long is it going to take him to go up the down escalator? You see me pause there, and, and, it's, and it's hard not to think that question. And from there, we take guesses. Uh, what do you think? One minute, two minutes, ten seconds? Um, I'll ask you for, what, what do you know is a wrong answer? I'll ask you, my struggling learner, for a wrong answer. Give me a number that's too high, that's too low. And from there, I'm, I'm involving students at a very low investment that has huge return because you're, uh, you're setting error bounds on your answer already. Or here's an example. Uh, how long will it take to fill up a water tank? You got a hose, it's filling up the tank slowly, agonizingly slowly, and pretty soon you're wondering, man, how long is it going to take to fill this up? And from there, you have to ask a question that is, that is nowhere in textbooks that I've used. You have to ask the question, what information do I need to solve this problem? Textbook usually gives you that information. Whereas here, you've got to ask yourself, what matters? Does the, uh, the height of the tank matter? Does the flow rate matter? And then we give you that info, you work the problem out, and we can show you the answer. We can fast forward to the end of the video and see how long it took to fill up that water tank. It's a harder and more fun problem than what my textbook offers my students. It's asking them to do more, and they're having more fun doing it. And that's a crazy kind of double win.